Welcome everyone back to RimWorld. So as you can see, we are in space with our ship, um, but we're not in the original save and the ship, it doesn't work at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, to cut it short, um, I, I just wanted to show you guys what happens if I decide to, um, let's say, put down some thermal conduits. If I go into ship and turn on god mode, that's why I'm in dev mode right now, um, I'll, I'll draw a few conduits, it'll be fine. Or maybe it won't. Uh, yeah, so usually this side is fine, I can connect it up with conduits. And then, uh, <laughs> you guys will see what happens when I connect the wrong conduit. It will just completely brick the game, which is, uh, very fun and very cool. Let's see if we can get it to do it. Um, it's another one done. It's also very laggy for some reason. Still not sure why, um, but usually it crashed is right about here on this upper row of conduits. Come on. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to get it to, but it always does. Or maybe it won't. Um, maybe I'm, I'm a complete liar. <laughs> um, okay. I guess that's not that bad. Well, uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to rewire all this stuff. I did do this all on the planet, but when I did it on the planet, it actually killed the entire game. So, now that we're in space, that's uh, definitely a lot better. And there we go. I was putting down some heat conduits. The dev mode window popped up. And it should pop up with the crashing screen any second now. Um, as you can see, if I try and click that, it just very slowly moves. And then eventually it will pop up with the uh, RimWorld.exe has stopped responding. There we go. The audio has completely cut out now. And essentially we're just waiting for the crash. Um, yep, there we go. RimWorld win64.exe has stopped working and then it crashed out. So we're back in Rim World now, and I've actually completely stripped down the mod pack just down to save our ship to stuff and uh, the blueprints and Rim themes and Rim saves. And we got to restart, but I'll show you guys what I'm going to do right after this restart. All right, so as you can see, we are back in space, and I've gone for the classic basic, the kind of the basic uh, derelict ship start that we started off when we first began this series. I'm going to deconstruct it all, though, because we're going to rebuild our ship, um, but hopefully it's a little bit more stable this time. I'm going to try and copy it to the T, but I don't know if it'll stay that way, so this is uh, this should be interesting. Before we start the reconstruction process of our ship, I just wanted to give a little bit more of an explanation into exactly what happened. So, approximately Monday, um, I think that I, th I uploaded the last video on Sunday, and then uh, I think it was either Sunday or Monday. Pretty much after that, I continued working on the ship. That's kind of what I was working on Monday to Tuesday. Uh, I completely finished up the ship. So. Today, I was trying to launch the ship into orbit so that we could, you know, explore space, fight the strongest enemies, and, um, well, you guys saw what happened at the beginning of the episode. That was actually recorded a lot earlier today. Um, but yeah, essentially, whenever I tried to put down a thermal conduit at some random place, it would just completely break the game and wipe the save. So, it was pretty much impossible to do anything. It was also very laggy for some reason. I have no idea why, because I even loaded a new save. I used Runtime GC to clean stuff up. It, it, it honestly made no sense, but that's kind of what happened. Everything else is going to be essentially the same. Um, it's just that we're only going to be using Rollins to explore space, and we're still going to be using essentially the same ship. I'm not going to be using any different weapons or anything, but that is the plan. I actually do have some blueprints saved from the uh, the previous ship. I can actually load them. Ugh! Okay, there we go. So as you can see, we do have a basic skeleton of the ship. I'll probably try to use this, um, but I expect it to break horribly because that's kind of what's been happening pretty much all day. It's uh, <laughs> it's very annoying dealing with 
it's not even I don't think it's the computer my computer's fault I think it's just a game limitation because even when everything was powered up um not the entire po the, like the entire power grid had enough power oh no okay um that's never a good sign um but yeah even when the entire power grid had power not everything was powering on I'm pretty sure it's just a base game limitation so let's see what happens here so right now I'm just copying and pasting our previous ship in. Um, for some reason all the ship hole tiles have been deleted. Um, that's kind of scary because I imagine... Oh crap, I misplaced that. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so painful. Okay, that, you know what? That's fine. It, it's fine, okay? Uh, we'll just add an extra block to, to the thing. I'm sure it'll be okay. Anyway, hopefully the game doesn't crash while I'm pasting this. I have a pretty good feeling that it will about 90% sure that it's gonna crash any minute now well oh no there we go paste it in that's always a good sign um <laughs> the entire game is frozen but it did paste in there we go and then for the last one we have ship three which should be the last section of the ship I just gotta rotate it upwards still rotating but yeah, this is a previous version of the ship that only has a few reactors. I'd actually doubled the reactors because I squished them all together. Added a third row of reactors, so I will have to still um, revise this. If it even works, that's the thing. I am about 90% sure it's not going to work. Alright, so I have just unpaused the game, and we are running at a much higher FPS, so... Let's begin the reconstruction process. Unfortunately, I don't know if you guys caught that, um, but I probably uh, went to a black screen. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught it in the video, but uh, yeah, um, that's what happened. I placed down some heating conduits and the entire thing decided to die. So, let's go spawn in a derelict ship. I at least want to see some of the most powerful ships, even if we can't fight them. All right, so now that we have loaded into this save, I actually went on a search for some of the cooler ships in Save Our Ship 2 extensions, Save Our Ship 2, and the Alpha Ships mod. So the first one that I want to look up, let's see if it actually works, is the Golden Armada. Uh, okay, uh, failed to spawn. That's never a good sign. Um, attacked glitch ship. That seems like a good idea. Um, but yeah, I have a few of them in mind. I really did want to fight them with their own super powerful ship, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't load in, then it doesn't load in. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I got that name correct. Alright guys, so I just found the actual ship logs, and what you can do is you can come into your ship bridge, you can run over to dev load ship from database, Okay, so then that'll, that'll bring up the def window. So what you're going to want to do if you're playing along or even if you're just playing the game and you're having fun and you just want to load in a certain ship, what you can do is you go into your local C drive with the file explorer or you can just go to the you know, like your whatever your, you store your RimWorld in and just search up enemy ship def, um, capital E, capital S, and capital D, and then it'll pull up three folders and I actually have them all up right now on a different, uh, on a, another tab. And it'll show you all of the various ships that are here. 
So, for example, there's this one called the Colossus. Um, I'm actually looking at it right now. So I should just be able to copy and paste this in here, or maybe not. That's very odd. Um, very odd. Because um, I would screen capture, but uh, it doesn't work for me. Uh, it's it's really weird. I have all of the enemy ship defs open right now. Um, let's try a different one. Let's try the Save Our Ship 2 extension Super Fighter. Um, I'll try both the file name as well as its contents. Um, it would be a bit weird if it didn't work. Oh, yep, there we go. It suddenly worked. All right, let's check out the Super Fighter then. All right, it'll take a little bit of time to load. But, you know, we might as well check out what we can see. Um, just a bit odd how the claw system work. I was uh, kind of hoping to see that. This is the Super Fighter. It looks kind of cool. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're firing at us. It's never a good sign. So I'm going to immediately... Actually, we don't even need to go into kill mode. So they've got this steel heavy ship hull on the outside. I really like their uh, spinal rug guns. I think we fought this ship. Now that I think about it, I think we did fight this ship, actually. But in ta inside, they've got their spinal capacitors. They've got their steel heavy airlock. There's their bridge. For some reason, they have two short-range sensors. Bit odd. I really like this design, though. They have a lot of the spinal weapons, which I really do like. They're kind of they're really cool. And then they have kind of their rear storage and power back here. Well, power and power storage. Um, they did something interesting with the ship radiators there. Let's open this area up. Okay, so this is their heating and computer ship cores. They have a few, a few capital heat cores, a few advanced heat sinks, and a bunch of these nanotech heat sinks. So then, uh, yeah, it's a, a cool little ship, but let's move on to the next one. So I just loaded in the Parva Cooley dev mode, I guess, definition, and it turns out that it actually translates to an, a scouting architect drone, whatever that means. Um, it's probably infinitely more stronger than any of the base game enemies, but let's see. All right, so this is what this tiny little drone looks like, a scouting architect drone. Um, very small. It looks like it has one of those cannons. Uh, I don't remember which one that is, though. Um, excuse me, what is the what kind of cannon is this? It is a Borealis cannon. Okay, so that's pretty powerful, actually. They've got their ship computer core in the center. Very interesting. And then they store their heat in the sides. Um, that's not enough heat dissipation, but... You know, what am I to say? I mean, they, they're going to destroy our small little ship over there. Um, they have some power storage here, an Arcomatter um, capacitor. I can just completely turn off their power. There we go. Um, but yeah, a cool little scouting ship. I, I kind of do like this. Um, they have their Arcomatter power cells. Um, what happens if we just completely turn off all their power? Yeah, like, <laughs> just, just completely cut power from their vehicle. Oh, they can still retreat. All right, that's kind of cool. Let's see what the next ship will be. All right, we have another ship here, the Orbascus. I haven't seen this guy yet. Um, it was one of the few that actually worked, so that's always a good sign. Um, oh, that's odd. It's taking quite a long time to load. Ha! <laughs> oh, no. Well, at least you guys can see the pretty... Oh, that's never a good sign. Pause immediately. Well, at least you guys can see the sun there. All right. A hostile ship is approaching. Scans identify it as a Save Our Ship 2 add-on or Baskus. Oh, look at this thing! It's so pretty! Um, okay, so it looks like at the front they have this Spinal Barrel Railgun. I'm going to immediately destroy that. They have a super long one, too. That's so cool. I really like big ships that are pretty and, you know, have a actual functional use. Okay, it looks like they got a lot of the heat sinks over here. A little bit of a hospital and boarding bay. Kind of interesting there. This kind of acts as like a hallway. Oh, that's a bit odd. Definitely a battery room. And this looks like just another weapon room. It is indeed just another weapon room, okay? Um, what about over here? Bedrooms? Yeah, it looks like bedrooms and eateries. <laughs> eateries? I mean, like, like a kitchen? A dining room, I guess? Not an eatery. Um, but yeah, for the most part, a very interesting ship. They've got a lot of these nice bedrooms. Again, I really like the general shape of this, so I'm not actually going to go to kill, just so that we can kind of speed this up. So, a little bit of heat sinks, a few weapons up there. Um, should we let them fire on our ship? 
It's probably a bad idea, but I think I'm actually gonna let them do it because uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it'll it'll be very colorful. Or maybe we should save that for the final boss. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's save it for the final boss. Looks like they got a bunch of oh, they have archimatic combiners and such in the center. That's very interesting. Um, what about over here? I think there's probably just more bedrooms. Yeah, it is. Okay, bunch more heat sinks. I assume it's the same from over here. And then what's in the centrist part? Okay, they got two bridges, more batteries. What about over here? Even more batteries. They got a lot of batteries. I really like their usage of the um, alpha ships parts. It makes it look very nice and clean. Uh, I don't really like it, though, because it, it's, the parts are hard to get and very expensive. Uh, well, I, then again, I guess if you have you know limitless resources, it's not all that expensive. Um, oh, try to destroy Filth Rubble Building. Wonderful. Look, that kind of looks like a rec room. I assume it's the same over here. It is indeed. All right. So that this is the Orbascus. It's very cool. It's very pr pretty looking, to be <laughs> to put it mildly. I mean, look at it. It's got like a perfect. I, I think it's all symmetric. At least it looks like it. I really like how they use the mechanoid ship parts, and then of course the main central railgun is super cool. On second thought, due to there being no boss ship file, I think the Orbascus might just be the final boss. While I do know there is a final final boss of Save Our Ship 2 extensions, for some reason it's not in my save files. So we're not going to be able to spawn this, but this is, the Orbascus is probably the closest we're going to get to a boss ship. So um, let's watch it tear apart our poor little basic Save Our 2 ship ship. What? Oh look, they <laughs> apparently they're trying to repair stuff. You know what? You can do that. Um, <laughs> look at them do that. Oh no, our poor ship. Goodbye, ship. <laughs> it just melts it. Oh, oh no. And I think that we are now done with. Well, that's actually an interesting mechanic. Um, they destroyed our bridge and then we got ejected down to the planet. Um, very cool mechanic, but I think, unfortunately, we will be ending off here. I really did want to launch our spaceship into space, so this is definitely a bit of an awkward ending. Um, but there's, honestly, there was nothing I could have done. I tried getting the ship into space, it just wouldn't even get off the planet. And even when it did get off the planet, if I tried to put a heat conduit down, it would completely brick the game. So, unfortunately... That's just how, I guess, the cookie crumbles. I know. <laughs> very, very stereotypical. But with that said, if you guys did enjoy this series, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day, and goodbye.